Welcome back everybody for another video of Virtual Warfare text-based roleplay fighting tutorial series. And this video is about the Ancient War style, but it will be used to explain the rules of the upcoming tournament that GOD is having. The fighting style of this world is based on simple and straight to the point wording scenario and gameplay. And because of this, players are allowed to spend more time strategizing through turns instead of spending it trying to accurately state every single possible measurement present in the scene. So without further ado, let's go. First thing to understand is bio length. The bio length is based on how many words you are allowed to use to create a bio for your character, which consists of the character's appearance, weapons, abilities, etc. The bio length for this world is close to using 250 to 300 words. This is so that creating a bio is almost timeless. It also saves a lot of space, not to mention a lot of confusion as well. So a person doesn't have to go rummaging through 6,000 words of information to figure out what powers and abilities the opponent has. Post Limit The Post Limit is based on how many words players are expected to use within each turn. However, with an ancient world, players are only issued to state 5 commands. The approach of their character, the object in which their character is using to attack, the direction of the object, the target of the object, and the result or damage of the action in which the object was attempted to commence. These are the only statements needed to simulate a virtual battle through the systematic structure of text. All other details such as measurements, dialogue, etc. are used to create a more vivid and accurate picture of the roleplay through the statements of the five commands. Gameplay controls. Gameplay controls are manual synopsis that help regulate the concept of actuality within the battle. It also helps players build strategies based on fighting within and around these controls. There can be many gameplay controls as people engaging in this world can create their own, as long as it doesn't hinder the fairness or structure of the gameplay. Here are some examples of what gameplay controls can look like. Fatigue To display fatigue in a turn for turn style, players will only be allowed to output energy based powers and other abilities for three consecutive turns as a fourth or the next turn will be used to recover stamina or take a breather. One hit kills. To enable players to do one hit or quitters on an opponent, the player must first use all of their energy slash exertion to deliver an instant kill attack. However, the player cannot use energy based powers or other abilities for three consecutive turns as those turns are used to illustrate drawbacks or a sense of habit to recover. No. If a player uses all of his or her power to attack, the opponent also has to use the majority of his or her power to block. Coincidental Actions To show the appreciation of the synopsis of accidents, players are allowed to use the occurrences of coincidences to help pull them out of a tight jam. Coincidences doesn't typically happen throughout an entire match, so players are only allowed to use this concept once per battle. And that's pretty much it. I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. Thanks, all, thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for uh, studying and understanding virtual warfare. Thanks for becoming a part of GOD. You know, thank you for everything. You know, it's, it's really encouraging to just have support. You know, just to have people just to look forward to your next move. And, you know, it helps me take the extra step to, uh, to bring roleplay to people instead of trying to bring people to roleplay. So thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody in the future. Deuces.